Jay, I'm not sure I ever had a Bigfoot, but I can sure as shit guarantee I was never anybody's Bigfoot. Everyone knew who I was. John Carlin's son. <laughs> Or Jonathan Carlin's brother. Oh, you two look so alike! Your brother was the best student ever! Thanks for setting that bar. Meant I could never act out. Now, for you SCB fans worth your weight, may remember one video of mine talking about one particular class where I did act out. Chemistry. And that's because she had just moved from India and didn't know who either you or dad were. But in every other class in high school, in middle school, in elementary school, I was John Carlin's son. For those of you who don't know, our dad was a local TV news anchor, and in our small town, he was kind of a celebrity. And this meant every year on the first day of class, we'd be going through roll call, they would get to my name, Ben... Carlin? Are you John Carlinson? Does it sound like I'm saying John Carlinson? <laughs> Cause I have a cold. But I would always pretend to be kind of annoyed by this weird recognition that had nothing to do with my own merits, but truthfully, I always thought it was kind of cool. What was not cool was the incessant questioning from my classmates on what the weather was gonna be. First, our dad was not the weather guy. Second, How's your dad handling budget cuts down at the plant? Fact is, my dad had a public job. My dad had a cool job that was well known, but it was not like I knew everything about it. Then when I went to college, even though my college isn't that far from my hometown, this recognition dramatically decreased. And that was great because I was at a phase in my life where I wanted to start making my own mark and not borrowing elements of a reputation from you and dad. I was on my own, making my own name in college, and one night I was at a party. There I was, minding my own, walked over and got line for the keg. I'm standing there probably playing Angry Birds on my phone because waiting in line for the keg is kind of like waiting for your number at the DMV. I look up and the guy in front of me is staring intently at me. And more than anything else, I'm embarrassed that this person like noticed me playing a game on my phone at a party. I look up and make eye contact and the guy's like, dude, are you John Carlin's son? By far the most unusual place that question was ever asked. Turned out the guy was like an unusually big fan of dad. Really hope this isn't a you had to be there story. For my question of the day, are you known for something or did you ever have a brother or a sister that went through school ahead of you and kind of set this standard for your family? Even in the towel section down below and Jay, that's all I've got for you today, man. I will actually see you tomorrow.